Hey guys, my name is Sandy. I'm a homeschooling mom to two boys. Um, today I'm going to show you guys a video about how I get our Guest Hollow High School curriculum ready for the new school year. It's already been planned out. This is just how I organize it and get things ready for us to start going. I'm going to start with chemistry. Both of my children, they're 8th and 11th grade, they're going to be doing the um, chemistry in the kitchen this year. And let me show you the different components and how I organize it. I have a binder for chemistry in the kitchen things. Um, when I first open the binder, I have different science experiment write-up sheets. And these I can just pull out and make copies for different experiments throughout the year. And then the first tab I have are the worksheets. These are just extra worksheets that I printed up that go with different science experiments and labs. And just little extra things. And I did this when I was planning out our school year and I knew we were going to need them. And the next tab I have, I have it for workbook, although I did make some separate workbooks here with my comb binder. But over here are just some more worksheets. These are for the recipes that they're going to be making. There's a spot for the picture. And that's pretty much all I have in the binder. I do have a chemistry equation sheet for reference for them. Now, as far as the regular worksheets from the workbook, I use my comb binder and I made several different booklets. These are the worksheets for the students to fill out. I like to do it on top because one of my kids is left-handed and I find that doing it on top versus the side is much, much easier for him to write into. I separate it into different quarters. The first quarter, the second quarter, and there's another booklet for the third quarter. And let me show you how this looks. And then, besides these three, I have the answer key, which I also use my comb binder to bind. And I split this into two separate booklets. It's basically just the questions and the answers, exactly like the other workbook for the student. And we don't have a homeschool room, a dedicated homeschool room. My kids just learn on the couch or on the coffee table or in the kitchen. So each child has their own bin, which I got this at Hobby Lobby, I think, a few years ago. It clips closed, and I usually store this in a cabinet when they're not using it. So on the top part, we've got pencils, glue, and there are scissors underneath here, mainly for the timeline. And on the top, I've got some more eraser toppers. This is a little booklet for the calculator. And here's the calculator that our CTC math recommends. And then this lifts up, and underneath are his day-to-day -day books that he's working through. This is for language arts, and he has a spiral for his math notes. And in this, for chemistry, I would probably put, for chemistry, I would probably put the answers booklet, so I can get to it easy. And then I'm going to put his first quarter worksheet booklet. And I'm going to store the other quarters away. And then the books he's going to be going through first are Dr. Joe. This is going to be a daily thing for him. And he's going to be reading through culinary actions to start off the chemistry in the kitchen. So I'm also going to put that in his bin. And also in his bin, I have this clipboard system where I write up his daily schedule of what he needs to complete. And then he crosses it off when he completes it. So I've done three weeks right now because we're going to be vacationing at the end of three weeks. I only planned out three weeks. And here's his timeline for the first two weeks underneath. So any loose worksheets that he has for those weeks that are scheduled, I will just put it underneath on the bottom. And let me go over all the components to the history. His World Win World History has its own binder also. And in here at the beginning, he's got some bookmarks. Um, this is the schedule at the very beginning. I went through the whole entire year and scheduled exactly what he's going to be doing for each day. 
And then he's got a timeline tab with all of his timeline figures. And he does have a tab for the workbook, but I, I'm going to be doing something different this year. I'm not going to be using the workbook like this. So when you purchase the World History from Guest Hollow, there are notebooking pages that are part of the workbook. And what I'm going to do is we're not going to be using the actual answers and questions from the workbook. We are going to be using the notebooking pages. I printed each week the notebooking page. I'm going to have him just take notes because I feel like he needs a little bit more practice with his note-taking skills. And I just binded that with my comb binder. And also I've made, he wants to do the adult coloring pages. So I've put together all the weekly coloring pages also. And there is a timeline included. So I put together this book for him to put the timeline pieces on. It opens up like this. And you can either just read it like a book, like this, or it can open up really, really big. Kind of like an accordion. So these things are going to go in here, which he can pull out each day. He's got his coloring pages and his note-taking pages. And he's going to start with reading Art of War. So I'm going to put that in here and then close it up and then he's ready to go. And one other thing that he's going to be reading all the time is this really thick history book. This won't fit in his bin, so I'm just going to have to put this on a shelf kind of close to the kitchen table for him. So as far as how I plan out and scheduled each day and what exactly he's going to be doing on each day, I can show you some examples. And um, we start on August 1st. But we have some doctor appointments scheduled, so when you see this squiggly line, it just means doctor appointment. There's no school that day. So this is for like August 7th. So at the beginning of my binder, I have a master sheet with everything that I've scheduled out for the entire year. And I don't have actual dates on here, like this would be day 10, day 11, day 12, day 13. And I do write the week that corresponds with the guest hollow schedule that way they can access the correct online links for that week and we can look at like week two i have read culinary reactions and which pages read dr joe number 11 and then these are the periodic table videos and it would be for neon that day so that would match up three and these are culinary reactions page 15 to 24 and then stop at gelatin um, Dr. Joe number three, and then the periodic table videos, whatever scheduled for day four, which is in the online link. This is this one is for history. I have the master schedule over here. So let's see, like week two, he's got to read from the online spine day one and two, and there's a hieroglyphics link on the website, so he's got to go to that. Um, day three, he would have to do spine, the online spine. He would have to read day three. And then he would have to do the timeline and the music links for that day. And the next day he would have to do like read day five of week two and then read from a history of the world book, which is this book right here. And that would translate over, I just copied over here to his personal one for history right here. So you read spine day four, pick two linked videos and over here, Read Spine Day 5, and then read page 12 to 30 in a History of the World book. So that's how I plan and get ready for the Guest Hollow High School courses for the new school year. We are going to be starting August 1st, and we're going to be taking like maybe a two-week break after the first three weeks because we've got a cruise planned. I hope you guys found this helpful. Bye!